Hello my beautiful Leo, how are you? Welcome to my channel, welcome back to my channel, Trying Divine Tarot. I'm trying and I will be doing a reading for you today. I'm just going to be reading for whatever comes out. Um, I'm going to be using my Ciro Marchetti deck and I will probably be clarifying with other decks of his. I think he did the Kipper deck. Um, that's a really awesome deck. So, uh, yeah, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate that. Um, I've smoked and cleansed my decks. I've anointed my wrists, and we are ready to go. Um, this is the second time I'm doing the reading for Leo. The first uh, read was really intense, and I didn't feel like I wanted to really put it out there. Um, but I'm briefly just going to touch on the subject. There's a Leo or a Leo crosswasser of a Leo that is, um, in the, is going through something really deep. Okay. And they might not be experiencing this personally, but they're watching somebody that's very close to them fight for their life okay and it's really affecting you and uh, it's touching you very deeply and um I'm feeling like it was it's a Leo that's either um married or very committed to this person but it's somebody you love period Okay, it's someone you love and they are facing a battle, okay, and I'm feeling that battle is an illness and it's very, very hard on you having to watch somebody you love being dismantled by an illness that's kind of like taking them over or or it's some other battle okay but um it's requiring a leo to be very strong and brave for this this person that you're that you're with okay and it's not going to be easy but God put you in their life for a reason. And you're staying true to your character. The loyal Leo. You're going to be with them to the end, okay? And they're very lucky to have you. Okay, so now we're going to do a different read, okay? And my heart goes out to the Leo that is going through that right now, okay? All right, what is this new energy for Leo? For our Leos today, please. Okay, we have the Six of Pentacles. So maybe there's a Leo having enough, uh, being financially stable enough to Help someone out. Okay. Purple is very royal. It also represents our higher realm. Okay. Maybe you're going to be gifted something, Leo. Maybe a little something to help you out. Something that will balance the scales. Okay. Make you feel a little bit more balanced and secure. I said uh, balance and secure, and we have judgment here. Okay, because I saw the, the scales. He's holding the scales right here. And uh, scales are very much for, you know, Libra and energy. And then we have judgment here. And this is Archangel sounding the alarm or bringing something to your attention. And what 
What are you being alerted to, Leo? What's calling you? We'll figure it out. Or Leo, please. Or if you're dealing with a court case, something might go in your favor. Or Leo, please. The lovers. The lover is here. The lovers were was uh, here in our last reading too, in that other reading. Okay. So the lovers is making itself known again. Another one for Leo. Hmm. It's a, uh, yeah, we're getting some of the same cards, okay? Here's loss. The Five of Cups represents loss. It represents regret. It represents having to let something go. Okay. This is being in your feelings. And um, this is a big tree in the background, so it could be in regards to a family member. The tree also um, represents our health, okay? Please clarify the Six of Pentacles for Leo, please. We have the tower. So Leo, you're experiencing a little shake up right now. What is this tower for Leo, please? Okay. So we have the star. So the tower could be something really good, to be honest. And then it came out with the Three of Cups, and the Three of Cups is reuniting. It's having a good time. It's coming into um, union with someone, or, or you know, a, a party like atmosphere. These could be people from your past that you haven't seen in a while and you all are coming together. Have a good time. The star also represents healing. Something being healed or healing a relationship, okay? That's what's coming out for the tower. Like something's being mended amongst people you care about. You, these are people you held the cup for. Or they hold the cup for you. What is um, Archangel Gabriel trying to get our attention on for Leo? Queen of Pentacles. So let's see. Okay, and we have the Six of Pentacles here. So this is, it could be a Divine Feminine. That's a Leo or Leo Cross Watcher. But I see somebody that's going to be gifted something that's going to be like kind of financially life changing. Where you don't have to worry so much. Like whatever it is, it's going to fall right in your lap. Okay, and that pinnacle that's coming in. 
you weren't expecting. You were not expecting, okay? And I'm seeing like some like life changing type money. Because I'm seeing that maybe you are just getting by. You're just getting by and somehow, some way. Through this meetup. <laughs> through this meetup, whoever you're coming into contact with has a little something for you, Leo, I'm seeing. Okay, what is here with the lover's card? For my Leo. Okay. I'm not going to lie, I've done Leo's reading. This is the third time I'm doing Leo's reading, okay? And this card came out first for the first two readings. It came out first, okay? And it still wants to make itself known. Um, this is wish fulfillment. Okay? But also, it represents our health the nine of cups and taking care of ourselves and feeling healthy and wealthy. Okay. Um, so he has all these cups here and that's really nice. But up here is a little rat and the rat for me always signifies disease. Okay. Or an illness or getting infected with something. Okay. It's falling under the lover's card. And then we're gonna clarify the five of cups that represents loss, okay? It's like, I had to tell you what I told you at the beginning of this read. I, I could not have, t you know, left that out. I had to tell you, even though I keep redoing <laughs> your readings because I didn't want to, I know not everybody's going through that, um, but there are some Leos that are dealing with a really intense situation regarding someone that they love and someone that they love that is not doing so well, okay? I mean, this is, this is the card of grief. And this is the lovers. It's somebody you love and you care about. You know, this is also the angel calling, calling people back home, okay? And a Leo that took a vow. When you take those vows, you vow to walk your person home, okay? Clarify the Five of Cups for Leo. I couldn't even get through the first one. Like, <laughs> ugh, it got a little emotional, and I didn't, really didn't want to put that out there either, so excuse me. <laughs> All right, five of cups for Leo, please. Here you are, Leo. Queen of Wands. You're showing up to your reading. This is you. <laughs> In your full, beautiful, Confident, sexy bitch format here. <laughs> okay. There might be a female Leo that recently lost something or someone or feels like she's losing someone, okay? due to an illness and it just wants to keep repeating itself so I have to I, I just have to relay the message okay the spiritual realm is aware of your uh, is aware of the situation we they are aware of how hard it is for you right now and Transitioning is a part of life. It's an unfortunate part. But 
but it's there, okay? We have to face it. What advice do we have for a Leo suffering through or going through this right now? Nine of Swords, okay. You're really, really worried. You're really, really concerned. You're having sleepless nights or you're watching your person go through this right now. Okay. The window is open. Okay, there's a lot of thinking going on. A lot of thinking, a lot of worrying, a lot of panicking. For Leo, please. Advice for Leo, please. Your person might have to have a surgery they may have had multiple surgeries. The angels are here for you. This is temperance. She's the angel of healing in their traditional red or white deck. She's mixing two cups together. And she has her toe dipped in, uh, she's standing over, I mean, because she's an angel, she can walk on water, right? Maybe there's a miracle about to happen, okay? Don't lose hope, don't lose your faith. If anything, increase, increase your faith. Temperance is divine timing. Oh, here we go. The Emperor. The Emperor can represent a very strong male influence in your life. This is a divine counterpart. The astrological sign he belongs to is Aries, um, but also the emperor is God, the king of all kings, okay? We have the angel here, and we have the emperor here. I'm hearing not... What is that saying? Let not your heart be troubled. Let not your heart be troubled. That's the message I just got right now. For Leo. Okay. And we have this devil energy showing itself. Okay. So I'm just feeling like not evil energy, but obsessively, obsessive energy. Somebody really, you know, is going through something and um, heaven and hell are on their mind right now. <clears throat> Or somebody is bound to something toxic. God knows the devil you're facing right now. He, he's not leaving your side, okay? For my Leo, please. Okay, we're speaking some truth right now. 
And this is the Dove of Peace that's in the background. This is going to be a battle. It's going to be a battle. Or somebody was a bit... Someone it was in a it was in a really tr I'm hearing a battle for their life and they're at peace now with this piece of this bird of peace in the background. Or if it didn't happen that way, they just want to be at peace. The cicadas are really going off right now outside. And when they come at me, they come at me like a siren. Archangel Gabriel. And they just, they just silenced right now a little bit. Okay. For my Leo, please. Okay. We have the Three of Wands. This is something very positive coming in for my Leo. What you've been hoping for, what you've been wishing for. waiting or waiting for your ships to come in or you're waiting for your loved one to come out of surgery I don't know I told you I've had to do Leo's reading this is the third time and it's the same story okay so um let me see I'm gonna use an oracle deck okay I really like this deck because it's very the pictures are beautiful and they have a real nice little description on them. Okay, for Leo, please. Okay. Also, I'm going to use an angel angel message too. Okay. For my Leo, please. My Leo team, my lions. Heart of a lion. Heart of a lion. All right. This is confirming. I said something is uh, arriving. With this three of wands here, and then we just have this arrival card with the plane. A journey is indicated either physically or metaphorically. Your life will become more full. Okay. For my Leo, please. What's on the plane? My cards back each other up, okay? You got the star here and you got the star here. That's the card of healing. The star. Good, I'm glad I pulled these cards. You're the Leo that needs to hear this. Hard times are over. Look forward to an abundance of happiness, enthusiasm, and possibility. That's good news, Leo. That's good news. There's a Leo or a Leo cross watcher that's in this energy right now, and I feel it, and I feel it intensely, this Nine of Swords energy, which is anxiety attacks, panic attacks, not being able to sleep because you're so worried. And 
Either it's a worry about something you're going through or it's a worry about someone you really care about. And then we got the two, and yeah, okay. And three of cups is a third party situation, okay? So it could be somebody else. More for Leo, more for Leo, please. <laughs> more for Leo. And you can see also, where's my temperance card? They're both pouring, okay? Like, I, I don't know why I'm feeling like treatment, like somebody's over uh, undergoing treatment, okay? Treatment that's gonna help them. Like, it's like very magical. It's very cleansing. It's, I wish you could see it. I don't know, I won't do like that much of a close up, but it's like very like, m like a magical water or a magical serum. But it's whatever, this is a very healing energy right here. And it's been sent to you by the angels. The angels came to battle too. The angels know what's here for us. What's lurking around the corner for us. They got something for that. For my Leo, please. What? Okay. For my Leo. Proposal. Okay, and yeah, this might be... I'm getting more of the commitment energy. This is somebody that you're committed to, okay? It showed me the wedding rings, and what did I say earlier? Invoking... Invoking your vows, okay? Through thick and thin, to death to us part, sickness and in health, okay? I'm seeing the, uh, Leo invoking that right now. A romantic or business opportunity is indicated. Okay, and let me get you a message from the angel, okay? Then I gotta wrap it up because this is, this is pretty long. Father, heavenly angels, we need a healing, helpful, guided message for my Leo, okay? More. What does Leo have to know? Almost the same cards. What did I say? Like a cleansing, like a, like a, a healing waters, a magic elixir. Look at that. Two different decks, okay? It says chakra clearing. Archangel Metatron. Call upon me to clear and open your chakras using sacred geometric shapes. So yeah, I'm seeing like whatever it is, it's getting cleared out. It just wanted to flip, but this is the card. This is the card of Leo, courage, courage. And I said it was a battle. She's a warrior. She's a warrior angel. Archangel Ariel, be courageous. And stand up for what you believe in. Okay. What does the Leo need to know, please? Okay. Archangel Zakia, keep an open mind and learn new ideas, then teach them. Teach these ideas to others. And then we have Moon Cycles, Archangel Haniel. 
Notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalize upon these cycles. Okay. Regarding the situation, angels. Divine order. <laughs> I know I said something with the temperance. Divine timing. Okay. Archangel Requiel. Everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see underlying order. I think because all you can see right now in a situation is this kind of energy. It makes you lose hope, okay? It makes you lose hope. You got to see past the illusion. Okay? You got to see the, the divine light that's, that's there for you. Because it's there. I'm going to leave it there for my Leo. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate that. I know that we got... 31 minutes into this one, okay? The other one was like kind of that long too. And I, I thought this would be a different energy the third time going around, but it's the same, okay? So my heart's thoughts and prayers are with you, Leo. You, they couldn't ask for a better person to be in their corner right now. Or the cross watcher I'm watching for, okay? Or that's watching now. Peace. Love you. Bye.